Newton's body will be cremated and the ashes buried in a private family service. But today, about 2,000 people celebrated his life at a three-hour funeral service in Oakland. Hey, Ma. A veritable who's who of the 1960s black power movement joined other mourners at Temple Baptist Church this afternoon. Angela Davis, H. Rapp Brown, and the Panthers' other co-founder Bobby Seale paid tribute to Newton, who was gunned down last week in what police say was a dispute over crack cocaine. Just moments after the service, the man accused of murdering Newton was arraigned in an Oakland courtroom. 25-year-old Tyrone Robinson was ordered to enter a plea next week to charges he killed Newton and possessed a concealable weapon. Robinson exchanged waves and greetings with supporters in the courtroom. The prosecutor says he will not ask for the death penalty. Big announcement coming up for us in the homicide of Huey Newton. We're not sure what that announcement is, but we're waiting on information. Allegedly, they're going to hold a news conference any time now. What we can tell you is Oakland police arrested two men late this afternoon. In fact, just a short time ago. That was after a high-speed chase at 14th and Myrtle. There is indication these two arrests are somehow linked to the Newton homicide. And that information comes only because one police sergeant told us the, of the arrest that they are very important. Now also today in court, we keep hearing of three other alleged suspects in the Newton murder. Two of them were in court today on charges of possessing a weapon and possessing a weapon only. Newspaper reports in the examiner maintain that somehow these three suspects are linked to the Newton homicide. Oakland police, though, continue to deny those reports, and hopefully in a short while we'll have these inconsistencies cleared up at this news conference. And as soon as we have that, we'll bring it to you. All right, we'll be standing by then uh, to hear from you. That's uh, Janet Yee in Oakland with the latest, perhaps a breakthrough now in the Huey Newton murder case. Acknowledge the unparalleled series of highs and lows in Newton's life. The spirit of Huey, indeed, is greater than Huey. As long as, long as there are hungry people, as there are homeless people, as there are victims of racism, sexism, and all the other isms that oppress us, that spirit will live on forever. Yeah. And on the streets of Oakland, a cry of Huey lives reverberated as Newton inspired a demonstration in death, just as he had in life. Grieving family members were led from the church as his body was taken away for a private family burial. Belva Davis, New Center 4, Oakland. After that funeral, a few hundred people joined together for a community remembrance of Huey Newton. It was a simple gathering, just some food and music for many of those who were at the service and for those who just needed a hot meal. It was sponsored, by the way, by the West Oakland District Council and Glide Memorial Church and took place in the very neighborhood where Huey Newton grew up. There, of course, is still the business of who killed Huey Newton and the man accused of that was in court. 25-year-old Tyrone Robinson appeared before an Oakland judge, but he did not enter a plea. Robinson is charged with first-degree murder. Police say Robertson admits he did it, killing Newton after a drug deal gone bad. Robinson will be back in court September the 5th. News controversy. As friends and family prepared to lay him to rest, the authorities in Oakland, California, prepared to arraign the man who confessed to killing him. Police say they believe 25-year-old Tyrone Robinson shot Newton in a dispute over crack cocaine. During his years with the Black Panther Party, Newton's run-ins with the law were frequent. Police say that in recent years, he had a history of drug abuse. But many of those who attended the funeral today dispute the police account of Newton's death, portraying him as a victim of the white establishment. And I think that it's the complete uh, assassination that was started 20 years ago. The guest list at the funeral read like a who's who of black revolutionaries. H. Rap Brown, who now calls himself Imam Jamil Abdullah Alameen. Angela Davis. Huey Newton you know, symbolizes a whole era in the quest for African American equality. And inside the church, a warm welcome for Bobby Seale, who founded the Black Panthers with Newton in 1966. Power to the people, brothers and sisters. 
In a scene reminiscent of 25 years ago, the Black Panthers held a rally in East Oakland today. They remembered a slain leader and launched a new youth program. It was a year ago this past Wednesday, former Panther leader Huey Newton was shot to death on an Oakland street. Today, rally participants recalled Newton and the Panthers' activities against alleged police repression and the free breakfast and other community programs started by the group. The Reverend Cecil Williams told the crowd, in many ways, Newton left a positive legacy. He is smiling on us today and saying to us, go on and take care of business in the black community with all oppressed people. The Panthers, rap musicians and community leaders used today's rally to launch a new publication aimed at motivating youngsters to seek education and jobs instead of drugs.